In the following tutorial, I will show you how you can create your very first decal. Decals are materials that can be projected onto existing geometry that are already placed inside the level. This includes static meshes, skeletal meshes, or BSP brushes. And decals are one of the best ways to add additional detail to your environment without having to bake detail into a texture and then create a whole new material just for some detail variation. So if you wanted to add dirt, stains, leaks, blood splatter, stenciled numbers, posters, or graffiti on the wall, you would just simply create a decal and then project that decal on any geometry inside the level. But before we do any of that, let's create your very first basic decal entirely inside Unreal Engine 4. Very first thing you want to do is either open an existing project or create a new project. And I have a separate video showing you how to create a new project. In our case, we're going to launch an existing project to create our very first material. Before you create a decal, you need to choose a folder. Where do you want to store your decal? So in Content Browser, come down and select which folder do you want to store your decals into. You can select an existing folder or you can create a new folder. So for us, let's go ahead and create a new folder inside the content folder. So we're going to select content, right click, new folder, and name this folder my assets. And click enter. The name of this folder can be anything you want. Then inside this folder, we're going to create two additional folders. This will help to organize our content. These two folders are going to be materials and textures. And create second folder, textures. We will not use textures in this tutorial, but a decal is a material. So we're going to select materials folder, and this is where we're going to create and store our decals. So select the folder, left click on add new, and choose material. We now want to name this decal material. I'm going to assign mat underscore prefix for material, then decal, and then the name of the decal. You can name this decal anything you want but this is the naming convention I use. Now double click on the decal icon to open material editor. Let's dock this as a separate tab. And the very first thing we want to do is change material domain in the details panel to deferred decal. Also make sure that decal blend mode is set to translucent. Next, we want to assign a base color. Usually you would use a texture with opacity assigned to it but we're going to keep this simple and use a constant three vector node which will allow us to set a solid color and then in another tutorial i will show you how to use a texture so in order to insert a node to use for base color come over to the right hand side under palette and we want to choose a constant three vector and it's right here you can left click and drag right into the working window you can also search for three vector and then left click and drag, or a shortcut key is hold down three and then left click. This will also insert a three vector. Let's go ahead and delete the other two. Select it by left clicking on it and then hit delete. Let's go ahead and select the one left over, left click, hold, and you can drag right in front of the base color input. Let's zoom in using the mouse wheel and pan by right clicking, hold and drag to center our view. Now let's take a three vector hover over this output tab, left click, hold and drag and you'll get this connection node wire coming out from the three vector node and then just drag it right over base color and release the mouse button. This will now assign this node to the base color input. Now we want to select what color do we want this decal to have. So select the three vector, the detail panel will change. So if you select the main material node, this will display the details and the properties for the material. And if you left click on a node to select it, this will now display the properties for that node. Now come down to constant and in this black bar, left click to open up the color picker. And now we can select the color that we want to have for our first decal. So let's select pure red and then click OK. Now we have a solid color assigned to our decal. And the last thing we want to do is apply and save this material. Let's jump back to our map by clicking on the first tab 
and we now have created our very first custom decal. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to insert, apply, and use decals inside your level.